Welcome to our channel. In this session, we are going to discuss about peephole optimization. Peephole optimization is simply an optimization performed on small part of the code. Optimization is performed on a small part of the code. Generally, your program consists of multiple number of instructions. Among all the instructions, we are considering only some set of instructions. Suppose if optimization is performed on a small set of instructions, that is called peephole optimization. Generally, this small part, that is the small set of instructions, is called window are also called as peephole. I think now you clear what is peephole optimization? Yes. Optimization is performed on a small set of instructions is called peephole optimization. So the purpose is to replace this code with a code that runs faster. Replace the code with a shorter code and executes very fast to improve the performance, to save the memory, to improve the performance and to save the memory. Now, what is our next point? Once you understand what is peephole optimization, next, what are the different techniques that are used to perform peephole optimization? First one is redundant instruction elimination redundant instruction elimination what is mean by redundancy repetition that means simply we are removing the repeated or unnecessary instructions simple example y is equal to some express 5 just one statement i is equal to y z is equal to y Suppose some k is equal to z plus 6, 10. Observe this is your program. Here we are performing some operation stored in the variable y. Now y is assigned to i. i is assigned to z. Here you are using z. Observe this program. Simply I rectify that is I optimize the program like this. See this one. Both are same. Here unnecessarily we are storing the value of i into variable i, again i into variable z and z. So these are generally the redundant information or for your simple understanding I am using one statement move r not comma a move a comma r not move r not comma a and move a comma r naught. So in this the value of a is assigned to r naught. We have store and load instructions. The value of a is r naught. Now in the next step what we are doing? Again we are copy the value of a into r naught. Not necessarily. Why? By this statement only the value is available in both a and r naught. Again, no need to copy this one. This is a redundant instruction. We are eliminating this one. Clear the point? If any instruction is repeated, we are eliminating. That is, some particular code is repeated. Eliminate them immediately. Now, second example. That is, the second technique is removal of, removal of, unreachable code removal of unreachable code simply dead code elimination what is unreachable code if you are executing a program if a particular instruction is never executed if a particular instruction never executed that is called unreachable code for example i have one function int add of 
suppose int a comma int b within the function we are performing the operation of addition and then return the value of c print f print the value of c if this is the program if you call the function add it takes two parameters perform the addition and return the value whenever a function returns some value the control moves to the calling function immediately this statement never executed this is called unreachable code clear the point a statement that is never executed we there is no use of this one any statement that is written after the this written that is not executed simply removal of this one this is called optimized code after removal any statement after this written that is called optimized clear the point removal of unreachable code simply called as dead code elimination now next to one flow of control next to one flow of control so flow of control analysis means simply removing the unnecessary jumps removing the unnecessary jumps for example i have go to label l1 go to l1 now l1 is the label here i am writing go to l2 some set of statements now l2 go to l3 some set of statements l3 here you are performing some operation here you are performing some operation observe this one whenever the first statement is executed i am moving to label l1 from l1 l2 l2 directly move to l3 so here we are not doing any operation so l1 to l2 l2 to l3 finally move to l3 here we are performing the operation so why you are wasting this many number of jumps simply go to l1 to l2 l2 to l3 instead of that one directly i am moving into l3 directly i am moving into l3 so the output is not changed observe whenever you are writing this statement here immediately i am moving to this one here the first step is directly go to l2 so these statements never executed directly move to l2 whenever i move to l2 directly move to l3 so instead of writing i return directly l3 here for example if you have a label l1 go to instead of l2 l2 to l3 directly i will write down l3 suppose if it is label go to l3 so in l3 move the statement move a comma r not observe removal of unnecessary jumps removing unnecessary jumps that is called flow of control elimination flow of control that is it controls the flow of data clear the point now the next one is algebraic simplifications algebraic simplifications algebraic simplification that is any useless operations are in the expression removal of that useless operations simplify the algebraic expression simply x is equal to x plus 0 suppose x is equal to x into 1 x is equal to x by 1 x is equal to x minus 0 observe for any number if you are adding 0 the number only there is no effect by adding zero so how to optimize x is equal to directly some x x is equal to x into 1 or else take another variable y y y y so y is equal to x here y is equal to x into 1 directly x 
y is equal to x here also y is equal to x you understand these are unnecessary operations if you are adding 0 to any number there is no use multiply with 1 no use divide with 1 no use subtract with 0 no use so simplify these type of unnecessary operations directly use the simplified values these are called algebraic simplifications and the next one is machine items meaning is if you are writing some code uh, compared to our written code machine have some powerful set of instructions by default every machine consists of some predefined powerful set of instructions replacing our code with the mission idioms mission idioms in the sense replace the code with already existed mission instructions the purpose is to update very very fast to perform the operation very very fast simple example a is equal to a plus 1 this is my code a is equal to a plus 1 this is my code in this code is replaced with inc a inc means increment this is the mission id already available instead of writing this code if you are writing this one it executes very fast dec a decrement the value of a so clear that one this is the mission id this is the mission id okay these are the different techniques for people optimization and again redundant instruction elimination that is any instruction that is repeated simply remove that instructions removal of unreachable code if any code that is never never executed no use of that code simply the remove that code flow of control optimization flow of control optimization that means remove the unnecessary gems unnecessary gems algebraic simplifications useless operations are removed finally mission idioms instead of using our regular code use the powerful features of mission code to improve the performance so these are called peephole optimization okay thank you